It's difficult to escape football in Argentina. It attracts most of the media attention and advertising revenue, and it's the topic of conversation in the cafes and bars. While rugby, basketball, hockey and tennis may also figure, it's difficult to escape the presence of these men. The Youth Olympic Games is the biggest international sporting event Argentina has hosted since the Football World Cup in 1978, and it's prompting a change of thinking. The legacy, the legacy is everything. That's all that'll be left when the games end. Argentina was behind when it came to swimming infrastructure. The last time we built a competition pool was in 1994, and now we've got this beautiful aquatic center. It's already produced some local stars. 15-year-old Selene Albosen breaking national and regional records. I was very excited, but I was very nervous for the first race. The fans, the family and friends were there, but it was great. She trains here, just 20 minutes away from the Olympic pool, where she's an inspiration to the next generation. 11-year-old Vicky Pieta has her sights set high. Reach the Olympics and represent my country. The crowds have been flocking to the venues dotted around Buenos Aires, often to see sports they're not familiar with. We've had a lot of support. We've been surprised. All the stadiums are full, all of them. Three hours before, there are queues, and I mean for all the sports. Argentine swimmers had a disastrous Olympic Games in London in 2012. Afterwards, they revamped the structure of the national organization, hiring a top Australian coach, investing in the future. State-of-the-art facilities, the latest technology, and the most up-to-date training methods. Argentine athletes are hoping that at least some of that will remain here after the Games, boosting their chances in a whole host of sports other than football. Argentine swimming still has a long way to go to catch the dominant nations like the United States and Australia. But these games have given them a clearer idea of what needs to be done. It gives us the opportunity to see how swimmers from other countries work, not just South America, but Europeans, all the powerful swimming nations. Football will remain dominant in Argentina, but the Youth Olympic Games is introducing and highlighting a whole load of other sports to inspire and excite these youngsters. Daniel Schweiner, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.